Hey, today we're going to see if I can make Mutant Mayhem Bebop better. For the first step, I'm going to see what I can take apart. I'm trying with some tweezers, and I eventually pull out his uh, glasses. They're stuck in where his ears would be, I guess. Now I'm quickly sanding off. It says, like, Playmates Toys and Made in China printed on the back, or, like, stamped, or popping out, embossed, or... Anyway, next step is cover everything with the matte acrylic varnish. This is going to work as my primer because I'm not going to paint the pants and I'm painting the skin a similar color to what it already is. So I don't need, uh, there's no big, anyway, I don't need to paint it all white first. That would just take longer. And this is just um, a few, like some brown and yellow and a little bit of white primer that I mixed together in a previous video and I just added some water to it to bring it back to life and I cover him do a quick layer and then it dries fast so this was the battle pack uh, bebop so he's battle damage but I'm painting over all the battle damage and then I use a little bit of that on the grenades just because it's gonna lighten it up before I paint them green eventually I chose a uh, bright red uh, cardinal red for his vest and it's going on the darker red so it's not going to be too bright when it's done but it's the color that I want and I just mainly because I have to cover up the um, battle damage marks on but if I don't get them perfect that's okay it'll just look like regular damage. I have a bright yellow now that I'm going just all the cracks in the turtle shells that he has for his uh, shoulder armor because uh, in the movie they're a brighter yellow and then a darker green on top. Now I have a sap green, it's a dark green, and I first get the grenades, and the whole grenade I'm covering with that green. Then I'm gonna do the turtle shell, but I'm just gonna do the raised spots of the turtle shell, leaving the bright yellow showing through and uh, making everything pop out. So I do both those shoulders instead of the, they were more of an army green before. Now I have a cinnamon brown I got inside his belly button and then he's got a bunch of like spots, darker brown spots on him and I dry brush over the details and darken the inside of his nose. Now he has a tattoo on his arm as well as the wow on his chest. And when I did this, it had been a while since I looked at my reference, and he's got three, like, stripes, but I did them the wrong way, and I only fit two. I remembered there was three, but I did them the wrong way. And he's got, it's either Krang, or it's like a Pac-Man villain. And I did that, it's supposed to be just the outline, but I did the whole thing. But I like it better like that, and I went over the wow, because I painted over it a bit with that skin color and made the wow look more, well it's more blue because I used a navy blue and also more like he did himself like a blue pen ink prison tattoo then I got some purple in his hair and uh, just dry brushed it and then dry brushed some tutti frutti to get more pink so it's just like a little purple but more pink and then I dry brush on his glasses the same tutti frutti pink color because his glasses are pink and purple like his hair. I dry brush that skin color over his uh, tattoos and his I guess birthmarks to make them look more faded. Well the birthmarks more like blend in more as part of his skin and then the tattoos to look faded. Then I have a burnt umber because I want it dark inside his belly button, darker than everywhere else because it's uh, a big hole in his stomach. And I noticed on his fingers, above his nail, is pink. I guess because when he's dyeing his hair pink, it dyed part of his hair on his fingers. So I did that. Now I have a real brown and this is a satin so it's a little bit glossy. I did his um, bullet belt and then dry brushing over he's got hair sculpted in just to make that come out a little i dry brush the darker brown over that and some other detail areas to give some definition in different colors i also use a toothpick to get in the line of his mouth to make that darker so it pops out more 
I have some uh, leaf green and I'm just going to use this to dry brush over the grenades and then also the shoulder pads, all the other green parts that I did just so it's not just one green or it makes it look more realistic and uh, gives it some texture and different colors. Yeah. And now, <clears throat> what am I doing now? I'm covering some stuff with black wash. So he's got that knee pad there and it's got some holes in it. And also his shoes I cover with the black wash and the gun that I had, um, I'll, I'll, I also painted the gun with the matte acrylic varnish that's going to help this stick. And using the black wash, it's just black acrylic and water, about 30% paint, 70% water, and that just goes in all the cracks and dries, and then it's black in there instead of trying to detail paint in every little crack. But if I was, I'd be using a toothpick because it works like a pen, and I use that with the silver and I get all the bullets because they were never painted before and he also has a belt that's just the same black as the uh, pants but it's a metal like chain belt so I paint all those links silver and just kinda writing on them with the toothpick there one of my favorite paintbrushes is a toothpick and then there's the pins or the loops that hold the pins and the grenades so I got those and then all the more links around his back and then I dry brush a bit on the knee pad and then all the spikes on his bracelets need to be painted silver because they were black as well and lastly dry brushing on the gun to pick up all the details and then really pops out with the black in there that I put in the cracks Oh, and uh, the last step I guess is covering everything with the matte acrylic varnish so that it doesn't smudge or scratch or anything in the long run while I have them on display or if I'm playing with him I guess that would be a reason but I don't I just kind of find a place for them and then they live there after the videos are done in my huge collection so that's what it looks like. I think I made uh, quite the improvement. Tattoos look more realistic. The skin looks more realistic. I already made um, Rocksteady. I'll link that at the end here. And uh, so I had to do him. I was going to do something else. But now in October I already have planned. So I pushed that thing to November. But this is now. I hope you liked it. And uh, I'll have... Um, some cool stuff coming up uh, in October and until then or until next time remember always keep your head up peace